So number three, similar to number two, our u is going to be x squared, dv is cosine of x, du then is 2x dx, antiderivative of cosine is sine for our v. So we have u times v minus antiderivative of v du, x squared times sine of x minus the antiderivative of 2x sine of x dx. So we're in the same situation here. We can't evaluate this with u substitution or just normally. So what we're going to do is use integration by parts again. 2x is to become our u. Sine of x dx is our dv. So we end up with du 2dx and v is negative cosine of x. So this first part, x squared sine of x stays out in front minus this integral. So this integral is going to be represented by that integration by parts. So we have to put that in parentheses. We're going to distribute that subtraction to both parts. So we end up with negative 2x cosine of x, when we multiply these, minus antiderivative of v times du. Well, that's negative, so that's why this became a plus. Kept the constant out in front. Um, so like I said, we have to distribute that. Gives us plus and then a minus here. And antiderivative of cosine is sine. So we end up with x squared sine of x plus 2x cosine of x minus 2 sine of x plus c.